the McDonald's run a mixed livestock and produce farm, which supplies their cellar door eatery. But they've also been working on a unique project when it comes to their sparkling wine. So it's a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, <laughs> lowered to the bottom of Flinders Bay, so the Southern Ocean. So you just drop wine into the ocean? Pretty much. <laughs> well, I guess so, yeah. So 20 metres deep. That, that seems a little uh, insane, frankly. <laughs> Where does the idea to put wine on the bottom of the ocean floor come from? I mean... <laughs> pirate shows. Pirate shows, yeah, well, why not? You might have heard of stories about ancient shipwrecks that have been mm. discovered with bottles of sparkling wine or champagne that have yeah. been matured perfectly underwater, pulled up hundreds of years later to be able to taste them and they're still in mint condition. So, yeah, that was kind of where the idea started from. The bottles are laid on their side in crates and we basically just let the gentle ocean current move the bottles from side to side to stir up those leaves and build that texture. Who knew the ocean was a perfect cellar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they didn't know. It was a big risk putting a thousand bottles at the bottom of the sea. So this is what they look like when they come up from the ocean? Yeah, this is one of the bottles that we resurrected. Wow. Um, you can see some really cool corals starting to form on there. The, this is a bit of a, a worm kind of... Wow, um, so it really does get that character, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, yep. And so are these slot your new Yeah, this is what we're going to put season? down in the next yep. couple of days. So um, you can see it's got a stainless steel cap on the top. Um, and what we're really trying to do, you can see down the bottom here, yep. this is our leaves, so they usually sit on the bottom, but by oh, inverting wow. them... It's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, you can really see, this is what we want to be put in suspension, so, so all those solids. So you moving, basically. Yep. Yep. And that way that'll interact with the wine and build wow. up the texture that we're really wanting to achieve. And so, how many bottles are you going to put down this time? We're going to put down about 600 this 600? time. 600? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we were so blown away with how much interest there was last yeah. time. It is demand driven and going to increase it a little bit each year and see how we go. So what will happen to this now? What still needs to be done? So one of the biggest issues was the corals forming underneath the cap here. There was obviously a point of attraction for things to grow. Yep. And we lost a few of the caps. So we thought this time we'll actually wax. Ah, seal it. Yeah, the yeah, tops. Yeah, right. Should I give one a whirl? I reckon you should. So just dip it in. How long do I keep it in? Just, yeah, just, just dip, dip it, it in and then a little twist. Catch all the drips. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. Like a pro. <laughs> it's like I was meant to do this. <laughs> how, how, how strange me and wine have a synergy. <laughs> I'm ready to go to the bottom of the ocean floor. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, oh, just, how are you? Oh, you Fathom's Cuvée is you. a concept <laughs> conceived over a glass or two with good friend and abalone rancher Brad Adams. It's been a great collaboration uh, yeah. to date and it's been really exciting to see the um, progress of it and, and, and now we're really looking forward to actually creating you know, Australia's first ocean cellar here on our lease. Before Brad started chucking crates of wine overboard, he was wild harvesting abalone. There was an opportunity to create something by building our own reefs in an area where abalone would grow naturally if only the habitat was there. And in 2014 we started building the reef here and created a fairly exciting new business uh, for Australia. So we're the world's only abalone ranch. Whoa. Yeah, so there's no one else doing what we're doing. And we're producing a wild catch um, style product. We're holding up these divers, let's get them down there. Yeah, let's get them in the water. The managed artificial reef also provides a perfect environment to sell us Sasha and Ben's wine. Can't wait to have a, have a go at these next year. Yeah, so it stays down just for a year? Or? Yeah, 12 months. Okay, last drop for the year. And away they go. And away they go. <laughs> when you first put those first bottles in the ocean, what was it like going down and pulling them up? I mean, we sort of holding them. We breath, didn't know or? what was yeah. going to happen, right? It was like, oh, is this all going to taste like custard? Yeah. But actually, when you got them up, I think the wine tasted better. But looked um, right. it looked better, and, and what a fantastic marketing opportunity! Yeah. Because nothing pairs better with abalone than a nice sparkling. Yeah, diver up. Oh, well done! That was quick, mate. Just like that. That's some nice abalone in there. <laughs> Woo. I know this story is all about the wine, but I couldn't resist the taste of fresh abalone. We're going to go sashimi today. You're going to open my world yeah. up. <laughs> we'll be uh, experiencing them as fresh as they can possibly be. You cannot be. get any fresher than this. You cannot get any fresher than that, straight <laughs> off the seafloor. 
Oh, it's still alive. Oh, it's moving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Look at that. It's still moving. Yeah. Watch out. It might suck on oh you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. That one's Mabel for the table. Jeez, that's, that's the regular. Wow. All right. Now we've got to shuck him. Don't get your finger. Oh. Whoops. This doesn't happen I on I didn't Master expect Chef. that to happen. No. <laughs> Put a bit of wasabi on it. And just a little dip in there. And down the hatch. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Something different? It's just so fresh. Like. Mm. Look at that. A bit of crunch. Mmm. Good taste That's texture. salty, briny, mm -hmm. but that crispness in the texture too. Mm. Not like any sashimi I've ever had before. Back at Glenardi Road Cellar Restaurant, it's time to pop a cork and try the ocean cellared wine, as well as sampling other offerings from the farm. Oh, it's like angels on my tongue. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Being out here in regional Australia, what keeps you guys here? Um, it's just such a beautiful area. Yeah, it's a great spot, and it's what my nana and pop used to do every day of the year. You know pick their produce, preserve it, you know, it's, it's nothing new, it's exactly what they used to do and I think they'll be very proud that we've turned their old workshop into a, a restaurant now. What I have noticed is in this little place, if one business does well, we all do well, you know, there's that real... Yeah, rising tide lifts all the ships. Yep. Your product celebrates that yeah. ultimately. And that's why collaborations are so good, you know, it's yeah. successful. Um, everyone wins. And yeah, and there's plenty of room for uh, interesting you know, ideas and businesses in this region, that's for sure. Yeah.